Hey guys, RC Bros Productions here. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to solder a broken wire on a motor uh, for an electric RC car. So this is uh, Logan's ECX Boost. We're going to be using that first for this video. There will probably be videos like this in the future with other vehicles. So first we're going to remove the, the motor cover or the gearbox cover, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now that we have the motor cover off, we're going to be removing the uh, pin gear. So now, that, let me see, is this the right size? It is, okay. So remove the set screw for the pinion gear. Or don't remove it, just loosen it up and the gear should slide right off. Take note of the general position of the motor for when you set the gear mesh when you put the motor back in. And now we're going to be unplugging the wires to the motor. Carefully do this so they don't strip. This one is the one that came off. That's the one we will be soldering. Oh yeah, and while you're at that, uh, be sure to hook up your solder gun so it's warming up while you're doing this. And then, so when you're done, you have the motor out, it's ready to be soldered. Okay. So we've got two screws here. One more, and then we will have the motor removed. And it'll be ready to be soldered. Okay, now that we have the motor removed, we're going to be soldering it now. But first we have to strip the uh, insulation off the wire so we can have it be soldered to the motor. So take something like, if you have something to strip insulation with, let me see, do I have something? Uh, wire, wire cutters will work, but they're not preferable because you can cut the wire inadvertently. Okay, so be very careful. So just kind of squeeze it till you hit the metal and then twist it around so it kind of like cuts it around. So just be very, very careful not to snip the wire. This one has been soldered multiple times. That's why it's so short. So it wouldn't be good if we accidentally cut it. Okay. Now that we have it all the way around, the insulation should pull right off. It might take a little bit of force, but it should come off like that. You can throw the insulation piece away. We won't be needing that. And now twist the wires so it doesn't get frayed at the end. Just twist it like that. Nice and twisted there. Okay, now these solder guns should be nice and heated up. Find some somewhere where you can set the motor. Uh, in this case, uh, let me see if I can find something to set the motor on. I could probably set it on this, this box I have for rubber bands for planes. I remember set it against it like that. Is that going to do it? I don't think so. I don't want to set it against the motor, the tire of the car because I don't want to accidentally hit it and burn it. Let me see. Okay, I'll just use this so it doesn't roll. Okay, so make sure it's a nice snug spot right there make sure this wire is out of the way because we're going to be soldering right there make sure your solder gun is heated up and there's it looks like there's already a good amount of solder on there right now so we might be able to just use what we have on there and if not i have solder right there Whoop. You know, this setup might not work, this little setup here, so I think I'm going to get a vise. Okay, so now we've got it uh, mounted on a vise. We've got it secured in the vise, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And I think we might be able to use the solder that's already on there to get it on there. If not, I've got some solder right there. I'll set that right here, just in case I need it. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up that solder that's already on there see if I can get it to heat up. There we go. And yeah, I don't think that's enough. That might not be enough. So I'm going to take some solder from here. I'm gonna get it on the tip. Oh, ooh, something's falling on my foot. Okay. So 
Just see if you can get some on the tip there. It might be a little bit difficult. And if you can't get it on the tip, just kind of drip it on there. Just any way of getting it on there. Whoop, it fell. Okay. Let me see here. Hmm, the solder doesn't want to really stick to the other solder. I'll see if I can get this piece right here. I don't think I'll be able to get it. Okay, right there. Gotta pull some more out. So let me see if I can heat up the solder below there so I can get it to connect. There we go, like that. Perfect. Now that we've got it all heated up like that, now just put the wire on like that. Yeah, that, the wire is pretty thick. Might take a little bit to get it on there. Okay, so we've got one strand connected. We need a lot more than that. Okay. So I'm going to heat it up. Try and get it on there as best as I can. Okay. All right. Gotta get more. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. It's a little difficult. Okay. Need to try and get that piece off there. There we go. Drip it on the top. Get it on the sides. Just try and cover it with the solder. Easier said than done, but whatever works. Just use any method you can, whether it's getting onto the tip or dripping it onto there or just kind of squishing it onto there like this. Being a little difficult. Okay, there we go. Getting it over on this side here. There we go. There we go. That's directly over it right now. So I'm going to see if I can get it on this side too, where it's all frayed up. If it's frayed a little bit on the edge, then that's good, because then it can. Uh, the solder can get in between there and hook up with it better. There we go. Let's see if I can adjust it a little bit. Stripping off the side. Hmm. I don't like it dripping off the side there. Let me see if I can get it up. Okay, we'll try that. All right, uh, let me see, is that on there good? Oh yeah, that should be pretty good. It's a little messy. I'm not the best solder in the world. I apologize for that. But that looks like a pretty good job. And clean up whatever you can. Uh, like down here, it looks like there's some right there. See if you can get some pliers or something and just kind of pick it off there. Like that. Just a little piece, a little chunk. There we go. Now that should be on there. Might be a little bit difficult to get those chunks off. But that wire is definitely on there good. This one's on there good, and the soldering job is finished. Now we're going to remove it from the vise, just remove it, and 
Insert it back into the vehicle. Make sure that the mounting holes line up with the holes where the screws go. Thread it through there and just try and hook it up with the holes of the motor here. I gotta see where it lines up. Perfect, right there. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. So now that one's threaded on there. Do not tighten it because we need to adjust the gear mesh. So just get it threaded on there enough and then get the other one on there. All right, now we've got an adjustable motor so we can adjust our gear mesh. I'm gonna get it as close as I can, as tight as I can, or as close as I can to being tight without completely tightening it because we need play in the motor. <sighs> okay, there we go. How much play do we have? Oh yeah, we've got plenty. Okay, now we're going to be installing the pinion gear. Make sure it's lined up properly. And it's on the flat side, the set screw is on the flat side where it's supposed to be. And tighten the set screw. Uh, going to make sure it's lined up perfectly. There we go. And now tighten the set screw very tight. There we go. And now we're going to be setting our gear mesh. So. It, do, it doesn't have to be completely tight on there. It shouldn't be completely tight on there like that, so it's difficult to move, but it should be just a little bit looser than that, like that, so it doesn't have quite as much resistance on it. That's how to set the proper gear mesh. There should be uh, probably half a millimeter gap between there, maybe a quarter of a millimeter, just a tiny, tiny gap between the teeth of these and this gear. So just the tiniest gap and then tighten the motor. Try and get it as tight as you can. There we go. Now tighten the other one. Now test the gear mesh. Oh yeah, that's a nice gear mesh right there. Now that, just take a look at that. That's what a good gear mesh should look like right there. That's a good gear mesh. Okay. Now just tighten the other motor, the screw for the motor. Make sure it's very tight. And this one too. Okay. Now make sure to plug the motor wires back in uh, properly. Red with red, black with black. And if it's a brushless, make sure the colors are uh, properly connected. Because brushless, brushless motors have three wires. Okay, now that motor is properly installed and the gear mesh is set, we can put the, uh, the cover back on. All right, now we've successfully soldered the wire onto the motor and the motor has been installed back in. This vehicle is ready to go. Thanks for watching.